Welcome to Campus Connect on Morris Educational Television. I'm Ed Yaw, President of County College of Morris. I'm pleased to host today's program sponsored by the Morris Area Consortium for Local Educational Television, a cooperative effort by Morris County schools, colleges, and public libraries to bring you information on key issues in education. We have a very special program for you today as we will meet four recent graduates and one current student from the County College of Morris. They will discuss their college experience and plans for the future. So without further ado, I am pleased to welcome to the program Caitlin or Katie Davis, Huay Tong Huen, Peter Peleodos, Heather Smith, and Alex Shoup. Welcome to all of you. So proud of all of you and everything that you've accomplished uh, this year and even before this year. Uh, Katie, let's start with you. Uh, first of all, <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself uh, before coming to CCM, where, what town you grew up in, what school you went to, what your interests were, and so forth. Right. I graduated Persephone Hills High School in 2009. I actually did not come straight to County College of Morris out of high school. I went um, to a private university for a semester. Wasn't happy with where I was, um, so I left, took a semester off, and then enrolled in County College of Morris in fall of 2010. I've been here two years and love it. <laughs> and as I recall, you were an NJ Star student too, is that right? Yes, yeah. I managed to get the NJ Stars scholarship based on my high school grades. Terrific. Peter, how about you? Tell us a little bit about yourself. I grew up in Randolph. I've been here all 21 years of my life. Um, I went to Randolph High School, actually, um, and right out of Randolph High School, actually, my, my sister had gone to CCM, and so that's what I decided to do. Mm -hmm. um, I've been here three years. This is my final year, and uh, I'll be graduating tomorrow, actually. That's great. We're looking forward to that. Wei Tan, how about yourself? Uh, tell um, us about your background. I came, I lived in Vietnam for 20 years. I came here and um, I didn't have a chance to know or to take SAT, so I decided to start CCM. And um, I didn't, I, I, I lived, I come here two, I came here three year, two years ago at CCM. I'm graduating like, uh, tomorrow. That's great. We're very proud of everything you've accomplished in that very short period of time. Now tell me, your English is quite good. Did you study English in Vietnam before coming here? Um, not really. Like We just learn English the way we learn everybody else learn Spanish in high school. Okay. So when I started, not a lot of people can understand me with well, my pronunciation. Again, what you've accomplished in three years is pretty, pretty remarkable, Thank I you. must say. Alex, how about you? Yes, I, uh, I went to Mount Olive High School. Um, I lived in Mount Olive my entire life and graduated 2010 and wanted to save a little bit of money. So I decided to come to County College of Morris and I enrolled fall 2010 and I've been here for the past two years and I've loved every minute of it and I will be graduating tomorrow with the rest of us. Okay, and Heather, how about yourself? Um, I went to Lakeland Regional High School in Wanakee, New Jersey. I've lived all over North Jersey since I was little. We moved around a lot, but um, that's where I graduated high school. Uh, went to William Patterson for a year, hated it, uh, took some time off, worked, figured out what I wanted to do, and ended up at County College of Morris as a dance major because Passaic County didn't have dance as a major, so mm -hmm. I branched out, and I'm glad I did. Yeah. Katie, a little bit more about yourself in terms of your uh, high school experience and things that you were involved in in high school and the community and so forth. Sure. Um, I actually did a lot in high school. I played field hockey and softball for my school's teams for all four years. I also um, did Girl Scouts throughout. I got my Gold Award mm -hmm. when I was in high school. I was a Girl Scout for 13 years. Great. Um, I was president of the National Honor Society, mm -hmm. and I was involved in the Italian Honor Society. Um, and yeah, I just took a lot of honors courses. Right. And did you work part-time as well, or uh, no, not actually, so much? No, actually, I didn't work until I got into college, okay. actually. Good for you. Good. Peter, how about you? What other kinds of things were you interested in before coming here? Um, before coming here, actually, I was quite interested, strangely enough, in um, teaching English. Okay. Um, since I've gotten here, I've now gotten into biology, uh, which is mm -hmm. wildly different. Mm -hmm. um, but when I was in high school, I actually wasn't particularly involved, which is mm -hmm. kind of funny, um, mm -hmm. because once I got here, I got involved in Phi Theta Kappa and student government and, mm -hmm. and running blood drives and all sorts of other sure. on-campus activities. Sure. Um, you know, I had a great experience in high school, but I uh, was never particularly involved mm -hmm. until I got here. Okay. How about you, Alex? I'll come back to you. 
I was uh, in my high school. I was not involved freshman and sophomore year uh, that much in high school clubs. But my junior year, I joined DECA is a marketing and entrepreneurship club. And senior year, I was president of that club. I was also involved with uh, Future Business Leaders of America, which is a very similar club. And uh, I participated as treasurer in that organization for uh, my last two years of high school. And, and then I started the entrepreneurship club here at CCM. Very good. And Heather, how about yourself? You've been high dancing school. for a long time, I suspect. I danced, yes. In high school, I danced, but I also had a part-time job at a Mr. Party, which involved me dressing up as a chicken okay. and holding a sign <laughs> that said, hey, come and buy stuff at Mr. Party. There are pictures. Um, why they're framed in my house, I don't know. <laughs> but. There is evidence of it. <laughs> I think there's a television commercial on the, right now about uh, that has a dancing chicken out front of some fast food uh, market. So Prob it was probably me. They probably took that <laughs> took that idea from your uh, from your commercial. Yeah, but I mostly dance. I also I not only did I take cl dance class, I also worked at the studio as an assistant, mm -hmm. and basically whatever the director needed, I did for her. I right. helped teach her younger kids. Uh, was a, had the opportunity to choreograph a little, you know, for her. So I had a good time, and that's what it. That's great. Hey, you have other, me other members of your family who came with you when you yeah. came? Well, actually, um, we have a big family. My mm -hmm. parents have eight kids, mm -hmm. and three of us still in Vietnam because they, can, they couldn't come with my parents. So we have uh, seven fam family members together here. And pretty much before I came to um, CCM, I worked full time one year mm -hmm. and I realized if without education I cannot do anything and I want to end up to be like what my parents did, are doing right now so right. I decided to come here. Good well we're very glad you did. Let's talk now a little bit about your experience uh, here at the college. Let's talk about your academic experience uh, first of all um, and we'll start with Katie again. Um, I actually was very undecided when I got here I was undecided about what I wanted to do career-wise until probably the last month. <laughs> <laughs> so um, CCM has been great with um, just having a transition period. Um, I, I always knew that I wanted to enter somewhere into the medical field. I wasn't sure if it was research or not, so that's why I initially pursued chemistry. Um, now my interest has shifted a little bit more to the application for the medical field, so I'm looking to actually go into nursing. Mm -hmm. That's great. How about you, Peter? I, too, was very undecided when I first came here. Um, actually, out of high school, I had peer taught, high, um, peer taught mass media when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. um, so I got very involved in like video editing and audio editing, things like that. Um, and when I came here, I initially came for, um, to start out recording music. Mm -hmm. um, and as I started to study more, that's when I decided, oh, OK, maybe I'll teach English or something like that. Um, and as I studied more and more, and I really got involved in the sciences and really enjoyed chemistry and biology and all of that, um, you know, I realized that that passion that I had for teaching that whole time um, that I had really developed back, I, I felt really was in high school, um, that when I found my passion for biology, that's when I decided that, you know, that's what I would like to do. That's great. Now, we're going to come back in a few minutes and talk to the rest of you about your academic experience. Uh, when we return from our break, we'll talk more with our student panel about their experiences at County College of Morris. Please stay with us. Welcome back to Campus Connect. I'm your host, Ed Yaw, and today we're talking with a panel of four recent graduates and one current student here at the County College of Morris. Joining me on the set today are Katie Davis, Wai Thong Huen, Peter Peliotis, Heather Smith, and Alex Shoup. Shoup, I should say. <laughs> I always mispronounce your name, Alex. I apologize for That's that. Okay. And now that we have the camera on you, let's talk a little bit about your academic experience uh, here at the college. Great, yeah. My academic experience uh, here at CCM has been Wonderful. Um, every single professor I've had is uh, I've really connected with, you know, outside of the classroom. Even um, studied mostly business classes, 
and have really grown in mathematics and English while I've been here, um, not having done spectacularly well in uh, high school. Mm -hmm. So I've really grown a lot while I've been here academically. Mm -hmm. Great. And how about you, Great Thing? Oh, I have really, CCM is the m one of the most, the best decision that I have made to for my life. Um, I, CCM not only helped me to enhance my academic knowledge, knowledge, but also helped me to adjust it to my, to my adopted country. I became more confident, more so social, I have more social skills. I have a lot of friends and I have chance to talk and to c get a connect connection with my professors. Yeah. It's been great. That's great. Could you have imagined three or four years ago that you'd be sitting in a chair on television? Never. Uh, talking never as in as my life. I thought it would about be a very that. natural thing for you to do? No, I never, I can never, like, when I just came here, I couldn't even talk to somebody because I was so shy about my English, uh -huh. but I've been growing up a lot. That's great. Mm -hmm. Good for you. How about you, Heather? Let's talk about your academic experience here. Um, it's been an incredibly positive experience. The first class that I took, I took a very long break before coming to County College of Morris from academics, so the first class I took was Speech Fundamentals with Matt Jones, mm -hmm. and it is impossible to forget that class, you know. I did really well, and you know, besides dancing, which is really what I want to do with my life, I want to teach, it, that class actually helped me realize that I actually enjoy public speaking, mm -hmm. so I pretty sure I'm going to pursue some form of communications as well. So, thanks Matt Jones. That's great. <laughs> Let's talk about a little, little more detail about the academic experience. What about the class size? Did you find it to be large, too small? Uh, were you surprised at the size of the classes? Katie? Just right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, I think it was perfect. Um, the biggest class I believe I was in was an anatomy and physiology lecture, and even so, um, with the science classes, you're lucky enough to have it broken down into lab sections that have, you know, 15 to 20 students. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. and the teachers are always very accessible mm -hmm. with office hours and everything. Right. And what about the faculty, uh, Peter? What's your experience been with our faculty? Wonderful. I mean, really, really wonderful. Um, in particular, I also had uh, Professor Jones. He was great. He's another person that, you know, really made me realize how much I'd love to teach. Um, but yeah, I had a great experience. I, I actually had my first semester, I had a professor who was actually a Holocaust survivor. Mm -hmm. um, that was remarkable to even meet someone like mm -hmm. that, especially to have someone like that as your professor. Mm -hmm. um, I had another professor for my, um, my psychology class who not only was, you know, had a doctorate in his field and everything, but also runs his own clinic. Um, so having someone that's so current in that field is also just wonderful. Mm -hmm. um, in chemistry in particular, and, and as Katie said too about the class size, you know, even in, in a large chemistry lecture, um, I had a very, very close relationship with my, um, my professor, Dr. Kapika, mm -hmm. uh, who was actually you know, one of the first people involved in some of the first studies to find that cigarettes are cancerous. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I've had an unbelievable experience. Um, I've had teachers that have pushed and pushed and pushed to see how much it, you know, they can really make of you. Mm -hmm. And you know, I've, I keep surprising myself, really. Okay. Um, wonderful. That's great. Experience. Now, Heather, I think you took a, an online course at some point. Yes, I did. Can you talk a little bit about that experience? It was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I go to school all day full time, and then right after school, I go to work uh, full time as well. So, in order to k maintain my, you know, twelve credits to stay full time, I needed an extra course, and it's great to go online. You know, the professor puts things up. She has specific dates and the syllabus and everything is on Blackboard. And it's fun to, be, or it's, it's much more convenient for someone like me who is literally just, I'm here because I'm working and it's just much more, it's accessible. I can go, oh, it's 1 a.m. I can do my assignment and hand it in now, you know, mm -hmm. and that's the time that I had to do mm -hmm. it. So it's very, very, very convenient, very mm -hmm. user friendly. Mm -hmm. Uh, but you have to be kind of disciplined to do this. I think oh. a lot of students sign up for online courses and think, well, I'll wait till the 13th week <laughs> and uh, get it, get there it done. There is no way. If you do not follow the syllabus to the T, it is the only way you're going to pass an online course. Right. So. Alex, let's change uh, strides a little bit. Uh, talk about your uh, extracurricular experiences here at the college. Great, yeah. I, um, when I was at CCM uh, my first semester, I met a friend, uh, Anthony Scandariato, and uh, the student government president. And we had formed uh, an idea to uh, start up some kind of business club. We didn't know what we wanted the club to do specifically. Um, so we ended up calling it 
Young Entrepreneurs of America. And basically what the club does, it's an entrepreneurship club that uh, basically brings people who want to start a business together to collaborate on how to do that process. We've uh, engaged with faculty, brought in uh, professionals from the outside world. Uh, this semester we brought in Dr. Randall Pinkett, winner of The Apprentice. That was a tremendous experience meeting him and, and everything. So I've also been involved with the student government and ABG, the Honor Society for Business Students has been a great experience as well. I think that maybe the extracurriculars is probably one of the best experiences I've had here at CCM. That's great. Uh, Katie, let's talk about your extracurricular experiences, which have been remarkable. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> as my well as extracurricular, um, it really began when I got my acceptance letter into Phi Theta Kappa, which is actually the two year International Honor Society, um, two year college International Honor Society. And as soon as I got the application, I knew I wanted a leadership position. Um, I actually applied for a president. Mm -hmm. And after meeting with Dr. Simmons and the former president, I was awarded the position. And that kind of jump-started my extracurricular involvement. And it's just been one of the most rewarding experiences of my college career thus far. I absolutely love it. I had to hand over the presidency since I'm leaving, and it was very hard to do. Um, <laughs> but we've just accomplished so much on so many academic and service levels, and just really branching out to different campus organizations, trying to create a sense of community here on the campus, and right. it's just been great. Well, you've done a phenomenal job, and I think all of you were involved in Phi Theta Kappa, so we're very proud of all of you. When Campus Connect returns, we'll find out what our panel of students has planned for their future. Please stay with us. Hey Roberta, it's Kathy. I found a great place that you have to check out right off Route 10 in Randolph. What is it? It's the Women's Center at CCM. The Women's Center at County College of Morris? That's right. It's a fantastic place located right at the County College of Morris. They do a variety of things to help you become independent. Like what? They helped me to identify my job skills and helped me with my resume. They have current job market information too. I even went through a mock interview. I'm working now with someone to help me find a job with a future. That sounds great for you, Kathy, but I haven't worked for years. I've been home with the kids. Roberta, they specialize in helping women who have lost the support of their spouse and you work with someone one-on-one. -on -one. I don't know. I mean, you know me. I don't even know the first thing about computers. Forget about a resume. They have one-on-one -on -one help to teach you about computers. They also have a legal clinic that can help you get valuable information regarding your divorce. They do a variety of things to help you get back into the workforce. They even have a job club open to any woman looking for work. How much does it cost? The advice is free. Free? That's right. Free. Okay, what do I do? Just call 973 328 5025 for an appointment and they'll tell you more. Welcome back to Campus Connect once again. I'm your host Ed Yaw and I am joined by Katie Davis, Huai Tong Wen, Peter Peliotis, Heather Smith, and Alex Chop, six recent graduates of the County College of Morris. Well, we started talking about uh, your extracurricular activities here uh, at the college with some of you. Uh, Heather, tell us a little bit about your experiences outside the classroom here. Oh, um, being a dance major, you're actually required to take class outside and also be in the shows. So dancing in the shows are great, having the opportunity to choreograph, uh, working with students and dancers that are like-minded. Um, also, I joined Phi Theta Kappa as well as their public relations officer. And that has been an incredible experience, being able to promote campus life and community among college students and just blood drives and everything. And I was also a senator on SGA, mm -hmm. also able to help students and have them come up to me with their problems. And I can present it at SGA meetings so we can better the mm -hmm. campus for the students, mm -hmm. which is why we're here. So. That's great. Well, you've been very involved and we appreciate it. Okay. Well, I, tell you, I know that you've been involved as well in a, a, some organizations here. Tell us about your experiences. Yeah, um, I'm a vice president of a Catholic Student Association, and also I have a great opportunity to join in the UF Educational Opportunity Fund Alliance Student Alliance, and we had done a lot of things that helped me to learn more that life is not about just receiving, but it's about giving, mm -hmm. and um, we had the 
um, Teddy's Bear Drive mm -hmm. for Afghanistan Kids. Mm -hmm. We have um, we had the Halloween um, that fund that we try to get people to donate whatever money they have to uh, to have the kids uh, with UNICEF. Mm -hmm. It's been really great experience for me to get involved in and to get to know everybody else and get to do something that I really want to do that to do volunteer work. That's great. Peter, how about you? Um, wow. I, uh, I got very involved this year. My first two years that I was here, um, I couldn't be as involved. I've actually been working since I was 16. Mm -hmm. um, and three years ago, I started working as a computer technician. Mm -hmm. And when I first started, I didn't have as much time. Uh, now that I've learned how to budget my time, as I would definitely attribute that to uh, some pretty difficult professors that really taught me how to do that well. Um, I got involved in the student government um, as a senator. Um, I also got involved writing for the newspaper. Um, I also helped to try to get more vegetarian food added mm -hmm. to the school. Mm -hmm. um, and that was part of with mm -hmm. the uh, student government. And I got very involved with Phi Theta Kappa, uh, with the two-year honor society. Um, we've run blood drives. Um, we've done book drives. We've donated money to Cuttington, Liberia, uh, Cuttington University in Liberia. Um, I mean, we've just, you know, I think we've really done some phenomenal things and with Katie as our president right. in particular. And, well, uh, you, you've yeah. all done really amazing things. And as some of you may remember by saying at uh, freshman orientation, I like to say that uh, here at the college, we have everything but the dorms. Uh, we have <laughs> certainly have right. athletic <laughs> programs. We have uh, fine arts, uh, performing arts. Uh, clubs and organizations. I'm so proud of our student government and Phi Theta Kappa and the newspaper. I think we're the only community college that has consistently published a student newspaper from day one. A lot of institutions have found it difficult because, as you know from working on the newspaper, you get a lot of turnover yeah. in, in staff throughout the course of the year. Well, let's focus now on your plans for the future. And why don't we start with you? What okay. are your plans? Uh, my plan is going to Rutgers Business New Brunswick mm -hmm. to pursue my uh, bachelor's degree in accounting. Mm -hmm. That's great. Heather, now you're not quite graduating yet, but uh, I'm sure you've thought a lot about what your next steps are going to be. I have, and I actually, I am, I will be graduating yep. this year. Yeah. Yep. Um, and I've thought about my plans, and I want to go to Montclair to study dance education, mm -hmm. as well as communication to really right. work on the public speaking, because right. I thoroughly enjoy it. My apologize for misrepresenting your, your current status. It's I know you've got okay. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we know you're going to be very successful at Montclair. They'll be lucky to have you, so. Thank you. As we have here. Peter, how about yourself? Um, next year, I will be transfer or next fall, I'll be transferring to the College of New Jersey. Um, I'll be majoring in biology and in education. And uh, from there, I plan to teach at the college level, and uh, I've been thinking about coming back to CCM okay. to do that. That would be great. <laughs> I would encourage you to do that, so that would be, be wonderful. Katie, how about you? Um, I also will be going to the College of New Jersey this fall and hopefully entering into their nursing program um, later next June. Okay. Alex? Yes, I'm going to be going to Cornell to study finance and entrepreneurship and, uh, in the fall, and I hope to do well there. Okay, well I hope that uh, you all find ways to come back to, to see us here at the college. As I mentioned to you, we had one of our former students come back uh, to your induction ceremony last night who went to Cornell and yeah. is now studying law at Harvard. And uh, so we've had a lot of successful students and I'm very confident that you all will be very successful too. Katie, tell us a little bit more about uh, Phi Theta Kappa though because you really, you, you guys really had an extraordinary job on year under your leadership, uh, the blood drives and so forth. Sure, sure. Um, in the fall, uh, Peter mentioned we had a book drive and the proceeds actually went to um, Cuttington University to help build their technology lab, um, which is our partner school. Um, the books were also donated to um, schools in Africa. Um, we have held two successful induction ceremonies. We've gained over 100 new members throughout this year. We have um, we held a drive for New Jersey Aid Services mm -hmm. to donate to the Eric Johnson House in Morristown. We held two blood drives collecting um, 148 units total mm. and $1,480 worth of scholarships for CCM students. And um, the C4 um, Community College Completion Core Initiative, we've been promoting degree completion mm -hmm. amongst the colleges. Well, you've had a, a very, very active year. And I know you have a study project for next year, which uh, 
I suspect Peter had something to do with uh, selecting, so why don't you tell <laughs> us about that? Um, yeah, I, um, actually, yeah, I would say all of us, all of us collectively, especially that's what I really love about Phi Theta mm -hmm. Kappa, is we all collectively really work together, and we all decided that our topic, um, which is competition in food, um, would be a very appropriate, especially for now. Um, mm -hmm. And what that's really going to focus on is, um, you know, how, how not only do local businesses um, contribute and what do they have to do with food, um, but also international companies and really how it's important not only to nutrition, um, but to the economy. Um, we plan actually to have a farmer's market. Uh, we're trying to get local businesses around here who are organic um, to sell, not only to sell their food, but also to speak about it and really educate people. Um, because people are not always necessarily um, aware that organic food is not only healthier for the person, but it's also healthier for the environment. Right. Well, very, very proud of all of you. It's just, it's just been delightful to, to get to know you over the course of the last uh, couple of years. And I have every confidence that you're going to be continue to have success. Uh, our students uh, almost always do as well or better uh, wherever they go than they've done here. And for some of you, that'll be very difficult to, to top. <laughs> but uh, I have great confidence in you. That wraps up this edition of Campus Connect. Thank you. I want to thank our graduates for appearing with me today and for their hard work and dedication as students at County College of Morris. For more information about the County College of Morris, uh, we welcome you to visit us at ccm.edu. I'd like to know more of your thoughts about today's program and ask you to share your comments and thoughts with me. You can write to me, Ed Yaw, at County College of Morris, 214 Center Grove Road, Randolph, New Jersey, 07869 or email me at eyaw at ccm.edu. Thanks again for tuning in. I'm Ed Yaw, and we'll see you again next time on Campus Connect, a Morris Educational Television.